Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today we're going to go over in depth uh, full review and how to set up this uh, 70 May Smart uh, Dash Cam Pro. If you guys uh, missed my unboxing uh, video, I'm going to include the link that is going to show in uh, within the description or toward the end of this uh, video. So there are two uh, different uh, package. One is just a 70 my camera by itself. And then uh, another one is uh, with the, this uh, GPS uh, module. So they're like a different price. I will be including within the link that's gonna show you below so you can check them out. Come with this uh, 10 feet USB to uh, micro USB uh, power uh, adapter or cable and then this is a secret adapter which is has a dual port which is nice and come with this uh, special tool this tool is to uh, push the wire around your uh, interior uh, trim okay so pushing the wire and then uh, this is the unit This one has a 1944P, which is uh, better than a 1080. They come with this uh, anti-static uh, film. Normally you want to peel this off and put it on your windshield. And then uh, you're gonna use this uh, mounting bracket. You see the indentation right there. And they just uh, glue this on there. In case you touch your camera because you have a static electricity, you might have you might uh, zap it by accident. So that's what this is, uh, film is for. Before you mount this on your uh, windshield, you want to do a test fit first, okay? And also you're gonna make sure you have enough room in case you're gonna hit the rear view mirror or like a visor or whatever you have another space or room to take it out in and out so this is just a regular mounting uh, plate so it, that's why you don't see any of the connection versus uh, if you have uh, the GPS uh, module you got those uh, contacts uh, point somehow this one is it, it is uh, bigger so that's why when you measure it inside the car, make sure you measure correctly. And this one has allowed you to adjust a different angle. With this uh, two inch uh, LCD, sometimes if you tilt it in a different angle, it is uh, very hard to see inside the bright sunlight or under the bright sunlight inside your car. So you might you want to go ahead and then uh, install the app, which is called uh, Seventy My. So if you have a uh, Android or iOS, you want to go to the App Store or Play Store, and then I'm gonna go download the Seventy My Seven Zero M A I. Download the top one, the first one. Click on install. Continue. Gonna click on uh, open. I gotta sign up first. You gotta sign up an account. So it asks you for a security code. You have 60 seconds to get the security code and input it in. All right, so they will send you like a six uh, digit security code before you enter, uh, before they allow you to get an account. So you're gonna click on save and then uh, agree. 
So it says uh, no device, so I'm going to power this on to add the device. So I believe I need to go to like a uh, setting. All right, so I got my uh, battery pack. I'm going to plug in. I don't think I, I think I forgot to charge it. Let's see. So once you plug this one in or when the dash cam has a uh, power, it uh, automatically uh, turns it on and then uh, it will start recording. So we need to go to uh, this is a uh, recording already. So we need to press the menu button. By the way, let me uh, go over the buttons real quick. The left hand side, it is for turn off or turn on the microphone. So it says the recording has been closed. I'm not sure why it says that, but this is just for the microphone on and off. So now the microphone is on. And then uh, the, the one, it shows a flag. That's for emergency recording. So in case uh, there's uh, something you see an uh, accident or see you see like uh, some kind of bad guy in front or uh, police activity or whatever, you could press record right away if you want to uh, uh, record that video clip and an emergency. Start recording emergency video. Unable to perform this operation. I'm not sure why it always says that, but... Uh, it will record it uh, right away. So you see, you see it's uh, recording. Recording complete. Okay. And then uh, there is your, uh, this one is a gallery right here, the one right, right next to the emergency. Shawmine stops recording. So you, once you press that, it will turn off the recording because uh, every time when you power on your, or turn on your car or when the dash cam has a power, it uh, start recording. Okay. So there's a normal. You could toggle. Uh, left or right by a navigation a button right here. So there's an emergency recording and then there's a photo as well. Let's go and check out what we recorded earlier. And then if you want to speed up, you can press a one time, one time, two time, and then a four time. I can press this to pause it up to eight times. This is play or pause button right here. And then if you want to delete it, you're gonna press the right button right here. And you ask, are you sure you want to delete the current video? You press a delete or cancel right here. The left button is cancel, right button is to delete. And here are the pictures that I took. Anyway, we're gonna go to a uh, setting, which is the right button right here. And then we're gonna enable the hotspot. So we're gonna go to uh, advanced uh, setting. Right here, you could change the uh, resolution and stuff like that. I'm going to change back to, uh, you could change to 1920, 1080p or 2560 by 1440. I heard that if you put it on the highest, it's uh, 4 by 3. I like the 16 by 9 ratio, so I'm going to press on to the second one. So 
So this is where you need to set this up. ADAS, you need to uh, enable it. So it says uh, move the dash cam to align car head with the highlight area. Oh, so I, I need to go out there and set this up for the GPS. So let's go ahead and then I'll go to my phone, open this ad and then I'll click on add device. So you ask you which model is it? Uh, we have the 70 my smart dash cam pro tap the setting button to go to setting select the wi-fi hotspot to go to the hotspot setting and then uh, tap the enable hotspot to turn on the dash cam wi-fi hotspot so you gotta click on allow So now we try to get connected with the, the dash cam. So it's right there. It says enter the password. Oh, so the password is right there. 435-91990. So it seems that it's connected already. I'm going to open that. Go back to the app. And it says uh, loading. Tap the confirm button to authorize. And then now we're going to confirm on the dash cam. So we should see whatever does on the camera right now. Yep. All right. So. Because when you go outdoor uh, with this uh, dash cam, and if you tilt at a different angle, as you can see, it get darker and stuff like that, so it might be hard to see. So it is better to set up with your uh, smartphone. So you can take a picture. You can click on allow. Photo taken. And you can make it bigger by pressing this tab, like a full screen. I'm not sure why it's so dark. So this is like a little bit of uh, delay. It should be fine. But they say if you want to uh, record, you need to get out the app or something. Let me see if it has a voice coming with the app. Record video. Start recording emergency video. It does allow you to uh, do the voice command. Turn off screen. The display is off. Turn on screen. The display is on. Take a picture. Take a picture. Photo taken. Take a picture. Take a picture. Photo taken. All right, so I guess the display on the Dash cam, since it's synced to your uh, smartphone, it's gonna, not going to show anything, just on your phone. So even though if I say uh, turn off screen, it's still going to show connecting, connected to the app. So let's uh, get out the app.
Okay, once you get out of the app, it's, it's just a recording display right there, okay? Turn on screen. The display is on. So you can turn on and off by pushing this uh, power button right here, that big bar right here. Just uh, tap it one time. Take a picture. Photo taken. So each video you only uh, record uh, up to uh, a minute, okay? And then once you finish, uh, once uh, you finish that one minute, it jump into the it record the next uh, segment. I forgot to go over the collision sensitivity. You could uh, set it right now. It's on high. So every time when there's a jerk to the unit, or like if you hit it, start recording emergency video. So it's gonna record right away, okay? So it 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 sends that like somebody hit you or something, unless you, if you uh park the car in the parking lot and somebody bump into it or push like a shopping cart bump into it. But unfortunately, this is only for the front unless you. You get hit on the left or the right hand side or the rear, you cannot capture it. So, recording complete. So, if you want to go to set the sensitivity, you could scroll down and then check on it. You could put on low or disable. So, I like to put on high just in case somebody bump into my car. And they can format your SD card. Be sure when you put the new one, uh, the SD card in there. You want to go ahead and uh, format it so you will recognize your uh, memory card. And then you could also set the screen off time right here. Either 30 seconds, one minute, or always on. You probably want to go ahead and set on like a 30 seconds to save a uh, battery. The most I got out of this unit is like a 30 minutes of usage because I've been playing around with it. And, uh, they say you could use up to like one hour once your battery is fully charged. Maybe you got to turn off the screen, you know. Turn off screen. The display is off. Turn on screen. The display is on. Record video. Start recording emergency video. So it's pretty awesome with this uh, voice uh, comment uh, prompt or voice activation. So to record, to take picture, to turn on screen or turn off screen. So it's pretty nice uh, feature. So let's go ahead and then, uh, go outside and test this unit out to do some recording. And also with the GPS module, I hope I don't need to drive like a five mile or so. Alright you two, so we're outside right now. I'm gonna put this over there on the glass on the right here. This got a tent right here. Below my uh rear mu rear view mirror. I think that might be easier when you try to uh, change to a different car or uh, move to a location. Hopefully this one is uh, could peel off and then uh, put it on the other car right away. And then uh, for the wiring, you will uh, need to go push those uh, wire into the headliner, okay? And then all around it, go around the side. Probably need to take out this, uh, oh yeah, so it was pretty easy to come out. So yeah, just uh, push all those wire, the wiring, and then you need to move the rubber seal off by the door frame, okay? And then I run the line and again. 
I'm gonna run into that secret light adapter. I got my uh, fiber uh, cleaning cloth to uh, wipe it down before I put that uh, anti-static uh, film. I'm gonna peel it off now. And then you want to go ahead and uh, squeeze out all the bubble. Be sure you know uh, the camera is sliding downward or whatever because uh, you don't want to. Parking surveillance video. Please open the gallery to view it. <laughs> So you want to go ahead and then uh, make sure your camera is sitting down correctly. So as you see right now, I'm putting like an upside down. So I got to rotate up. So make sure it's uh, sitting down like that. And then I'm going to take out this uh, double sided uh, tape right now. So I glue this on to that plastic film that I just uh, installed. Start recording emergency video. Talk so much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm going to take out the camera right now and make sure I get it like a little push around the three end tape. Recording complete. Shut up. You want to press a uh, firmly, okay? So you can see the bubble right there. Gotta squeeze it out. All right, so now you can see the camera where it's facing at. So you gotta do some adjustment. You don't wanna see too much of your uh, dashboard. So I'm gonna do some adjustment while you guys uh I'm gonna just lower. I mean higher, sorry. So yeah, that looks good. So yeah, I'm gonna go drive around and then uh, test out for you guys. So uh, this is just a temporary wiring for now, okay? Take a picture. Photo taken. Record video. Start recording emergency video.
YouTube, uh, right now I'm testing out the microphone on this uh, dash cam with the, with the music off. So hopefully you guys uh, could hear me or just uh, checking out the recording of the sound quality on the mic. Yeah, it's kind of crowded today. Today is uh, Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday again. Happy Friday! There's a UPS truck. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, roll down my window. It's getting hot right now, so it's about 81 degree. So we are close to uh, summer. Uh, all right, so we are back. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the clip. Uh, and then uh, I show you guys on how to install this uh, anti-static film first before you put it on the windshield. So this, this one probably uh, would make it easier in case you want to remove the whole thing out and then uh, put this on the other vehicle. But make sure there's no uh, lint when you remove this uh, film to put it on uh, the other car. Okay? Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop in the comments on below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like always, peace. Yeah. <laughs>